And we were talking today, I mean, what's been the big talk of today has been mm. this Iran deal. Uh, former Virginia Senator Jim Webb was voicing deep reservations, as have several others, about this nuclear deal with Iran. And more to, joining us now to talk more about this is Ali Safavi. He is the president of Near East Policy Research, and he joins us here on Newsmax now. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Ali, you heard the president speak this afternoon. He had a news conference about the Iran deal. Here's what he had to say when addressing the issue of Iran and its continued efforts to sponsor terrorism. Even if the nuclear issue is dealt with, they're still going to be sponsoring terrorism, mm -hmm. and they're going to get uh, this sanctions relief, and so they're going to have more money to engage in these bad activities. Uh, that is a possibility. Ali, you just heard the president resigning himself. He's basically saying what many Americans fear is that now Iran is going to make more money, so they're going to have more money to help sponsor terrorism. I mean, is he basically agreeing to the very thing that Americans fear, Ali? Well, I think that um, uh, in many respects, um, one has to recognize that the problem really isn't this nuclear deal. With or without a deal, the Iranian regime uh, remains the main state sponsor of terrorism around the globe and unfortunately for everything that the United States received from Tehran uh, it has given up much much more including of course the billions that the Iranians will uh, transfer into the coffers of the Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps which will in turn wreak havoc in the Middle East, in Syria, in Lebanon, in Iraq uh, and in, in Yemen and I think uh, the president of course tried to uh, uh, sort of compel uh, members of Congress to go along with this deal by saying that if you don't accept it, then the alternative is war. Quite frankly, we as Iranians believe that's a false narrative. There is another option. Uh, the Iranian people uh, do not uh, support this regime. They want change, as was demonstrated in, in 2009. So I think that, if anything, if one is really interested in to bring an ultimate end to Iran's nuclear weapons program, one has to embrace the Iranian people, the organized opposition. Uh, remember, well, uh, let me ask you this question opposition. because let me ask you this question. We saw a lot of Iranians uh, celebrating in the streets. It, it, what is the real reason you believe that that was taking place? Well, I think that what you see on, on uh, of course, Iranians in some respects uh, have been uh, repressed and, and tormented by the policies of this regime. I think the fact that you saw uh, some Iranians uh, in the uh, streets of Tehran, of course, one doesn't know whether that's reflect reflective of the sentiments of 80 million Iranians. But there's no question that Iranians want to see some Ali, opening. Ali yeah. Safavi, I'm sorry, but we're running out of time. We always appreciate your insight. Thanks so much for joining us here on Newsmax Now. More to come.